What's up you guys, appreciate you for tuning in as always. In today's video, I'm actually gonna be taking you guys with me as I look through the My FICO credit monitoring application that you could have installed on your phone. So um, if you guys have been monitoring your credit, you're probably familiar with some of the other monitoring applications out there that they have for your credit, like Credit Karma, Vantage Score, True Credit. But I went ahead and actually paid for the My FICO credit application. And the reason I did that is because FICO is the industry standard when it comes to assessing your credit. 90% of lenders will be looking at your FICO score before they issue you any type of credit. They won't be looking at your Credit Karma score. They won't be looking at your True Credit or Advantage score. They'll be looking at your FICO score. And historically, I've always had uh, Credit Karma on my phone just to kind of get a quick glance at my credit. And I did that because it's free, you know, and it was easy to use. But I figured since I'm getting more serious about repairing my credit, I need to also see what the my FICO application uh, has on there what they're reporting and what type of features they have so like I said um, I went ahead and paid for it it wasn't free you know credit karma is uh is free but my FICO actually charges 30 to 40 dollars a month for the plan just depending on what type of features you want so uh, I went ahead and did it I'm gonna show you guys what's on there but also just to give a little background I've been working on my credit pretty seriously for the last 19 months got out of prison actually 19 months ago and since then I've been working to repair my credit my credit was at a 480 when I got home now I have it to about a 670 with one bureau 680 with another and the last bureau I have it at a 665 and that's my FICO score 8 but as you can see my credit is up almost 200 points since I've been home and it's just been 19 months my goal is to get it to 720 and I'm pretty sure that I'll be there by the time this year ends so I'm not a credit advisor, expert, or anything like that. Just want to take you guys with me as I basically, you know, work to repair my credit. And um, hopefully you guys can learn some of the mistakes, learn from some of the mistakes that I made, but also, you know, maybe implement some of the things that I'm doing that has worked out well for me. So that's what this video is about. I'm going to go ahead and take you uh, with me as I look through this application. So, you know, maybe you guys might want to check it out yourself. But go ahead and check it out. Here it comes. So this is what the application looks like. You can see that at the bottom right here, it says My FICO. I'm gonna go ahead and click into it. It's gonna recognize me. And this is the home page. So at the top, it says scores. Um, then it says your FICO score eight. It has three credit bureaus and has your score in there. So I'm gonna talk a little bit about the FICO score eight before I go any further. The FICO actually has a lot of different scores attached to us. We don't just have one FICO score. We have a FICO score pretty much attached to every industry of credit. So whether it's a mortgage, an auto loan, a credit card, we have different FICO scores for these different industries. Your FICO score 8 is basically just the average credit score they have for you across all industries. So they'll take your credit score for mortgages, auto loans, credit, card, credit cards, and other type of loans, and they'll average that out. And that's what you're looking at when you see your FICO score 8 but you need to be mindful of that because if you're actually go out to if you're actually to go out and apply for an auto loan they wouldn't be looking at your FICO score 8 they'd be looking at your auto loan score so and I'll go into that a little bit further but just want to tell you guys that's what the FICO score 8 is if you were to pull your credit report you would be seeing your FICO score 8 but that's not the same thing a lender would see if they were to pull your credit report but we'll go into that a little bit more um, if you look down further on the page you see that it says score versions by loan type and that's pretty much what I'm talking about they have mortgages auto loans credit cards and other loans so we're going to go ahead and look into some of these so now I'm going to click into mortgages so you see at the top of the page now it says your mortgages it says FICO score 5 4 and 2 and as you can see my credit scores have changed and the reason they changed is because now it's looking at my FICO score 5 4 and 2 and the, that's the, basically the FICO score that mortgage lenders will be looking at. They won't be looking at your FICO score 8. They'll be looking at your FICO score 5, 4, and 2 because these FICO scores are basically tailored for mortgage companies. So mortgage companies know that in order to better assess your credit eligibility for mortgages, they need to look at your FICO score 5, 4, and 2 because that's an algorithm that's suited for mortgage lenders. So you can see that my scores have changed there. And um, you see five, four, and two. We're gonna talk about that a little bit later, but um, basically the reason they have so many different numbers is because FICO basically 
updates its pro its product just like you know you see a software update on a computer or anything else every few years couple of years whatever the case might be FICO will basically update its product and kind of you know add some tweaks you know fix some things and make it a better product for lenders so that's the reason why you see the five four and two two is actually are obviously an older product then they came out with the four then they came out with the five and lenders don't always update their software you know right on time so even though fico might have a six seven eight eight available lenders might still be using the old software so that's why you see you know the five four and two there there might be a a, a more updated mortgage uh algorithm available you know there might be a six seven eight i'm not sure but obviously most mortgage companies are still using the five four and two and that's why they have that there on the screen for you so that's pretty much your mortgages. I'm going to go ahead and go back to the home screen and we're going to go check out the auto loans. So I'm back at the home page now and I'm going to go ahead and click into auto loans. So at the top it says auto loans, then it has my FICO auto score 5, 4, and 2. And that's different than what we just looked at in mortgages. Mortgages, it said score 5, 4, and 2. This says auto score is five, four, and two. So this is a completely different score we have here. And as you can see, my scores have changed. And the reason this changes is because this is a different industry. If an auto lender is gonna go pull my credit, they're not gonna be looking at my mortgage credit. They're not gonna be looking at my FICO score eight, which is what I see if I were to pull my own credit. They're gonna be looking at my auto score credit. And you see it says five, four, and two. Uh, it says high lender usage. So most lenders will be looking at your auto score five, four, and two. But if I scroll to the right, you see it has my auto score eight and it says medium lender usage. So even though FICO has a newer version of my auto score available, most lenders are still using the old version. You know, so they're still using the auto score five, four, and two, even though there's an auto score eight available. And if I go ahead and scroll to the right once more, they also have an auto score nine says increasing in lender usage so although the nine is available most lenders still aren't using it but it's increasing in lender usage and it's it's unfortunate for me because as you can see my score is actually better in the FICO score or in the auto score nine and also the auto score eight but lenders are still using the old version so hopefully they'll update it sometime soon but you never know but this is pretty much the auto loans i'm gonna go ahead and click back to the main page and we're going to check out um credit cards okay so i'm back at the home page again and we're going to go ahead and click in the credit cards so at the top it says credit cards then it says fico bank card score eight high lender usage and as you can see you know my credit uh scores have changed again and the reason it's changed again is because we're looking at a different industry now we're in the credit card industry so I have a, a FICO score attached to the credit card industry and it's called the bank card score eight, or at least that's the one that they're using right now. That's the high lender usage. But if I scroll to the right, bank card scores five, four, and two, medium lender usage. So this is a older version, but some banks are still using it. The, the, the score five, four, and two. If I scroll to the right again, FICO score three, low lender usage. So it's, I guess the score three is available for credit lenders to use, but as you can see, not many lenders are using your score three. If I scroll to the right again, it says bank card score nine. Okay, so there's a, there's a more updated version, increasing in lender usage, in, in lender usage, excuse me. So you guys can see that, you know, even though there's new versions of your FICO score available, lenders aren't always using that. So that's the cool thing about this application lets you know what lenders are using so that you can see what your score is and uh, you know if you will get approved or not or what you need to work on. So I'm gonna go ahead and scroll back to the main page. So right here, the bank card score eight, if you guys are applying for credit and you have this FICO app, go ahead and look at your bank card score eight. Even though it's not the most updated version, this is the version that lenders are using. So you need to be mindful of that. But I'm gonna go ahead and click back to the home screen and we're gonna go ahead and look at other loans. So I'm gonna click into it. And other loans, I didn't look into this too much, but I'm assuming it's personal, personal loans and other things like that. They're using your FICO score nine for the most part. Or well, it says increasing in lender usage. 
So um, they don't actually give a whole lot in this other loans uh, category. But you can see, I guess, FICO score 9 is there, and your score has changed again. So just be mindful of that. But we're actually going to go back to the home screen. I'm going to show you guys some of the other features they have on this application. So now I want to take you guys to the uh, some of the other features that they actually have on this application. If you look at the bottom, it says scores. That's where we are right now. But they also have alerts, reports, simulator, and more. So I'm going to go ahead and click in the reports. And the cool thing about paying for this application is that you can actually go pull your report whenever you want to. So I think that's just a nice feature, feature to have. If you need to show your report for anything, you always have it available right here. And the next thing I will do is go ahead and click on a simulator, and that's right next to reports. So the simulator is a really cool feature. Basically, it allows you to see what type of effects uh, or what will happen to your, your credit if you do different things. So say right now on the screen it says, what if you increase your credit limit by 2,500? And you can see what type of effect that will have on your credit. And uh, equal facts, it says zero, nothing will happen. TransUnion says zero. But experience your credit will actually go up by 15 points if you do increase your score or increase your credit limit by 2,500. And I'm going to check out some of these other simulations. So let's say, let's look and find one. If you get a credit card. So if you get a credit card with the $5,000 limit, um, nothing will happen with Equifax. TransUnion will actually dock your credit by 10, point, 10 points, and Experian will raise your credit by 15 points. So that's interesting to see. Let's try a different one. Let's just say if you max out all your credit cards. So wow, so if you max out all your credit cards, you see what type of uh, effects it'll have on your credit. Equal effects, it'll dock you by 50, TransUnion by 55, Experian by 40. And it has a lot of different simulations on here. So I just thought that was cool to see. So if I were to do certain things to my credit, I could actually foresee what that would look like on my credit report or on my credit score. So I just thought that was a cool feature. And the last thing I'll show you guys is more tab right here. So if you click on more, they have credit education and it'll basically take me out of the application into a website. But there's a lot of information on this FICO credit uh, education page. And it just talks about some of the things FICO is doing, uh, different techniques they use to score your credit and just things of that nature. So it's really cool to check out. Um, hopefully you guys like this video. That's pretty much it. Just kind of wanted to go over this my FICO application, show you guys what it's all about. You know, you might want to pay for it. But if you guys like the video, please go ahead and give me a like, subscribe to the page. And if you know anybody who's into this type of content, please just share the video with them. All right. Stay up and stay positive. Peace out.